How to get started with a herringbone pattern. This is gonna be like a herringbone pattern where you put it on like, let's say a backsplash. You start at the bottom and you're gonna work your way up. This is how you get it started. First of all, I wanna go over just real quick, modular versus non-modular tile, okay? You can see these are both modular types of tile. This is three by six Home Depot Restore tile. Two tiles plus a grout joint equal one tile standing up, okay? Same thing over here. This is three tiles plus grout joints equal this one tile standing up. So a non-modular tile would be, this would be, you know, down here somewhere or somewhere else. It just wouldn't work out perfectly like these do. You can do a herringbone with either way, but keep in mind, both of these are modular patterns and it's going to work out a little bit differently. And I'll talk a little bit more about this at the end of the video. We're going to get started with the three by six subway. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your subway tile and you're going to start right at the corner and cut that at a 45 degree angle. Okay, right on the corner and bring back both pieces. So these were one tile, now they're two pieces. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the two pieces and put them together like that and make a triangle, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and start this right over here, the pieces again, put them together, and do it again. I'm trying to keep this reasonably straight here, and then you can kind of see how this goes in. And we can come in here. And then we take our pieces here again. You know, if we say that this is going to be the top. Here. And then we fill these in. And then for, the, for this corner, we're just going to take one of these, cut it on the point, cut it in half. So that is the basics of how to do a herringbone pattern. Anyway, I'm going to show you with the three-piece tile. The other, the other tile, how we get that going with the herringbone pattern. By the way, this is Bedrosian's Clio tile, I think, is what this is. So here we got our tiles, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start here, cut the point off, just like we did with the other one. Then, for that third piece, what we're going to do is we're going to take the full tile and cut it in half, but we're going to do it diagonally, 45 degrees. So here's our pieces here. We got full tiles. We got the tiles with the points cut off right here and then these are half tiles out of the same piece okay so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna start let's see here we'll start with one of these start with the long tile and probably just come in here with a full tile too and then we're gonna take a half tile put it in here and the point okay we'll do it again put this piece in we'll do a full half tile and the point and then as you can see, we put the folds in and we'll put one here, put one here, put one here. I don't have enough tile to, to run the pattern now. That's the basics. So back to modular versus non-modular. Both these patterns are modular. That's why it works out to cut the point off exactly. And that's why it works to cut the half tile off. You can still do a herringbone pattern with a non-modular pattern, but you're going to have to just figure out what the cuts are. Okay, so it might not be you cut the point off maybe you cut it back here a little bit maybe you, you end up cutting the half you know the halves aren't going to work out so you're just gonna have to figure it out but this is the basic concept on how to run the herringbone pattern go to diytileguide.com sign up for the email list and download your copy of the exact batch cheat sheet which has the exact ratio of thin set powder and water so that you can mix a perfect small batch of mortar every time